episode one of Choose Your Own Scary Story throughout the month of October. Our story begins in Nebraska with a family of four. You got mom Samantha, dad Dan, and their twin daughters, Diana and Anna. Now, ever since their girls were little and started going to school, at the end of the summer, they would take a family vacation to just unwind, have some fun, before the girls would go back to school. And they would choose a different location every summer. Well, this end of the summer, they chose to go to Colorado to camp in the mountains. Little did they know that this vacation would be one they would never forget because it would turn into a nightmare vacation for them. Mom, Samantha, goes and talks to her two twin daughters, Diana and Anna, and asks them, are you guys ready? Do you have everything packed up? The girls reply in unison, yes, Mom, we're all ready to go, except for the things we need to pack in the morning. Okay, you need to go to bed as soon as possible, because we've got an early start in the morning. Your dad has everything ready to go, but we need to get going early in the morning. Okay, Mom, we'll go to bed as soon as we get done watching our favorite ghost hunters uh, on YouTube, Sam and Colby. Okay, one more episode, then straight to bed. So, Diana and Anna Fish watching an episode of Kobe and Sam doing their ghost hunting on YouTube. They brush their teeth, they get into the pajamas, they, turn off, they get into bed, and they turn off the lights. They wake up next morning, they come downstairs for breakfast. But instead of the usual milk and cereal, or maybe the occasional pancakes, there were donuts, there was bacon, eggs, waffles. And they asked their dad and mom, why was there such an elaborate breakfast? Well, it turns out that the twins' 16th birthday was coming up. So they wanted to give them an extra special breakfast before the trip because their birthday happened to also fall on the trip they took every year. And then when they would get back from the trip, they would have a birthday with all their friends and family. So like, they were just delighted, man. They started eating and just eating, and then they finished eating, and then they went to get changed, pack up the rest of their stuff, and came downstairs to get into the SUV Dad had just finished hooking up the camper trailer and they're about ready to hit the road when all of a sudden Dan got a phone call. It happened to be from his brother and his brother warned Dan that things were not really going well in Colorado. There's some mysterious things happening. He told him, I'm really worried about you guys going camping there. I really don't want you to go. Of course, he just thinks his brother is messing with him, is just, just having a laugh. He says, okay, uh, I'll take under consideration, hangs up, and goes to his wife, oh, that's my brother being silly again. And the family gets into the SUV and drives down the road. Listen to tunes with the headphones on, the twin daughters just jamming out, mom and dad focus on where to go. So this driving, 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 driving. It's been about three or four hours. You know, they're making the turns, the turns they need to get where they need to go, to the highway, to rest stops, and stopping along the way, getting gas. And now it's about seven o'clock at night and it's starting to get dark. And the road behind them has seemed to disappear. And on to the right of them is a mysterious dim lit road. 
And then the road just continues on after that. And Samantha goes, Dan, I think we're lost. And Dan goes, oh, no, 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 we're not lost, honey. I know exactly where we are. But of course, deep down, he had no clue where they were. Honey, we got to make a decision. Because we're running low on gas. I have seen a gas station for miles. Okay, so he stops the vehicle and him and his wife discuss on what to do next. Should they keep on driving? Should they just pull over and camp on the side of the road for the night? And eventually the girls were wondering why they weren't moving. So they took off their headphones and go, Mom, Dad, why have we stopped? Are we lost? Are you guys having an argument? And Mom said, no, 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 no. We're just having a discussion on what to do next, girls. We're definitely not lost. That's what Samantha said to her daughters. And they're like, okay, mom, if you say so. To be continued.